Good morning, guys. Welcome back. So this morning I woke up to a chilly 22 degrees. And right now it's a little warm. It's about 34, 35. So feeling it, I'm feeling much better. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the house a little bit today. I'm gonna start clearing some of uh, the land where the chickens are gonna go. But obviously the chickens I'm not gonna buy them. I'm not gonna bring them here until April. April, maybe May. So, yeah, so right now I'm just gonna start doing a little bit of work uh, to clear the land and that's gonna take obviously many months. I need to start getting ready now, building, I'm gonna build a chicken, uh, chicken coop, a chicken tractor and a bunch of other stuff, so. Yeah, let me start uh, now and we'll see you in a few. Okay, let's go to the work site and I'm going to show you the land from above here in a second. I cleared a little bit today I can't do a whole lot because I have to go to Home Depot later today and Lowe's and buy some shelves for the uh, garage so I cleared a little bit here and going up this way so it's looking a little bit better and eventually I'm gonna take most of these brushes out <sighs> yeah it's uh, progress it's gonna be slow but I have plenty of time. So I bought some shelving units at Lowe's, but not for the garage. It's gonna be for the shed, which is right behind over slightly to the right. And I'm also gonna be changing the oil on this vehicle tomorrow. Manana, I gotta do it now before it gets too cold. Yeah, before the temperature falls to like zero so but however you know i'm gonna do it here in the garage i have a lot of space and believe it or not this garage is heated but i'm not gonna put it together now i'm gonna put it together tomorrow when it's uh, a little brighter outside. All right guys, so it's the next day and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these things away. For now, I'm gonna push them over to the right because I wanna change the oil on my wife's car. So I need to find my old radio, or my garage radio that I had in Cherry Hill. I think I have it on the shed over here, so. I'm gonna go get that so I can listen to some music 
as I changed the oil. Somewhere, somewhere in here. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. I think I see it. And you see why I need those shelving units? I have stuff everywhere. I love this car. Beautiful, huh? Who doesn't want a 57 Chevy? All right. Okay, here it is. All right guys, so I'm also gonna do basic maintenance. So I'm gonna refill the uh, windshield washer fluid, but I just wanna point this out. Now, I normally buy this brand and this one, this is green. Notice that it says plus 32 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So this is for warmer climates. Now, I almost put that in there yesterday, but then I, I saw that and I realized that temperatures here in upstate New York can get very, very low. So I bought this other one, which is negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 below zero. So, I mean, for most of you subscribers out there in Florida, you're never gonna need any of this, right? Maybe just this one. So, I just wanted to point that out. And I know most of you already knew because you guys are rock stars. Oh, and believe you me, we will hit 20 below zero up here. And what I'm using today is the uh, fully synthetic Zero W20 oil. And that's the type of oil that's required for my wife's car and a friend filter so what i'm going to do and you can get any type of filter you want but uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill this up now before i put it in the vehicle that way when you do start your vehicle for the first time after your oil change this is not empty it's already filled up and the filter or the oil will circulate through the engine a lot faster and also what i'm going to do is i'm going to lubricate the gasket I am up, parking brake is on. I'm gonna take the old oiled out, put the new filter in. Obviously after taking the old one out and refill it with oil. And then dispose this safely. I need to talk to the township to see where it, I can dispose of this oil. Or I could probably just uh, dispose it at one of the uh, local auto stores but i gotta call around and see who will take it all right guys so i had to take this shield engine shield from the bottom of the engine first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take the uh oil filler nut or bolt from here and then take out the uh, oil filter from here yeah i should be able to do it by hand the last time i did it yeah i didn't use any tools so it shouldn't be too tight i hope And there it goes. Always make sure to have a towel handy for any oil that spills. I'm hoping not to spill a single drop today, but you never know. Keep in mind, these have washers in them. Make sure that you don't lose that washer. If you do, you have a problem. All you have to do is dig in there for that washer. 
All right, guys, so now it's time for the uh, oil filter. And this one's gonna be a little bit messier. It always is. Yep, it's coming loose. All right, I wanna make sure I have this bucket underneath of it. I'm always gonna get oil in my hands. That, it just can't help it. So I'm just gonna loosen it up a little bit and let the oil drain just for a, a few seconds. Once it slows down, then you can go ahead and remove it and put the new one in. I don't know if you can see that, there you go. You can see it better now. All right guys, so now, now that it's finished dripping oil, just gonna clean around this area and where the uh, filter comes into contact with the engine. There it goes, it's nice and clean. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, new filter in. And I'm gonna once it makes contact with the engine, turn three quarters of a turn, hand tight. And that's it. That was easy. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now is put everything back together. And make sure you tighten that bolt back here. And do you hear that in the background? That's Led Zeppelin. If you don't know who Led Zeppelin is, most na. And by the way, guys, this is a Honda CRV 2017 all wheel drive touring. I bought this for my wife brand new for Mother's Day in May 2017. And by the way, did I tell you uh, just a few weeks ago, we celebrated our 32nd wedding anniversary. Yeah, let me tell you, it's been a great 32 years. And I'm looking forward to the next 32 years. And this is the uh, old oil, 10,000 miles, fully synthetic. It's di definitely dirty. All right, so now I'm gonna let it sit for a minute, check the oil level one more time, and we'll call it a day, and then I can start building uh, my shells over there. Okay, and some of you know exactly what this is, but that's another video. All right, so now it's time to build my shells, put them together. So we have, what, uh, 200 pound low capacity per shelf, and I have five shelves here. And I bought these at Lowe's a couple of days ago, and I'm gonna use these on my shed. Not here, not here in the garage. I'm putting some something else here in the garage. These are going to the shed where I have a bunch of tools, and as you can see, I still have a bunch of boxes here that I need to unpack. Instructions, instructions on how to put it together. So there you go guys, I'm done. It only took a few minutes to put that thing together. 
So it comes with a, a couple of brackets so you can tie it up to a wall and a couple of connectors too so you can con connect them together if you have more than one. So yeah, just a couple of minutes to install, super easy. I bought them at Lowe's at $106 a piece. And yeah, they're very sturdy and I'm just gonna put all my tools there. So yeah, finally. And I'm thinking about putting it right here along this wall here and tying the second one to it and the brackets obviously I have a lot of studs here so yeah it's gonna go the brackets are gonna go around this pole into the studs so oh yeah making progress So there you go guys this is where they're gonna go and what I did is I anchored them so if later let's say in a couple of weeks after I'm done unpacking all that and arranging all my tools if I feel like I need another one then I can order a, a third unit and just add it to this uh, end over here will I need another one maybe yeah, maybe. I may need a third one. I don't know. I don't know yet. It's going to take a couple of weeks. And by the time I arrange this, I'll make that determination. But as a homeowner with a lot of tools, yeah. You definitely, definitely need a lot more space. Okay, guys. So this video is getting a little long, so I'm going to cut it short. Um, the next video is going to be the wood splitter. That is the plan for the next one. And so... You guys have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. Hasta mañana.